Hi folks, it's over here. It's Friday evening and it's time to have a little bit of fun. So we're going to blow up some TNT. I want to show you a couple of things that are new in the upcoming TNT module changes that we've been working on for a couple of months now that are finally taking some shape. This is still a little bit of work in progress. Stuff may actually blow up. Hopefully not the computer, but let's talk about what it actually is going to be blowing up. First of all, there's a new TNT API, which means it will be easier for people to add new blocks of TNT that will do more or less damage. You can think of adding hand grenades or firecrackers or stuff that is way bigger. It should be really easy for mod makers to modify the parameters of how much damage TNT does and how large the hole will be. We got some visual changes up that will make TNT a lot more interesting. First of all, a big difference right now is when you blow up TNT, in the old version of the TNT code, you will only get one item stack dropped, one little block. If there's a couple of items in there, you might get two because they're different nodes. But if you blow up 40 pieces of cobblestone, you will only get one little rotating cube with cobblestone. In the new version, that's actually split up, and there'll be many more little blocks there. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. And, as you can see, they all fly through the air. Right, let me just turn off this fire before it becomes a big mess over here and I burn my entire stuff down. The hole is pretty much the same as it used to be. It's pretty much regular circle shaped. It doesn't really change. Alright, so you see different, different blocks are thrown in the air everywhere. The second thing you might have already noticed, but I'm going to go and show you again, maybe two or three times, so you actually get an idea, this is that there's a new particle effect where the TNT is exploding. This particle effect will look like what you have exploded. So you need to pay close attention, and then you'll see that there's many sand-like textures blowing through the air. Let me just blow up some nodes here on the dirt, and you should be able to see that there's going to be dirt flying through the air. Or something like dirt. All right. That looks pretty good. There's another under the hood change which actually makes the TNT explosions much more interesting. And you will probably not have noticed it, but the TNT explosions are a lot quicker to now draw. That's because we're using technology called voxel manips, which is a way for mind test to modify large amounts of blocks all at once. And to use that to make the whole of the explosion. And because we added all these extra particles, to, to show up in the place where the explosion actually happens. You'll have a nice visual appearance of suddenly lots of effects and a hole appearing without it looking extremely weird. As you can see, that kind of looked really natural. All right, there's one more thing that I've added just this evening as I was hacking on this, and that is a little bit of a change as to how TNT actually explodes. The difference between the old code and the new code is, is that in the old code, when a block of TNT would ignite another block of TNT, it would do so only one, one block at a time, and then there would be a second delay before the next one would explode, and there would be a good second delay until the next one would explode. That's kind of unrealistic, because two blocks of TNT that are this close together, where one of them explodes, will pretty much set off the second one immediately. So what I've done is I've actually changed the code so that if a block of TNT is caught inside the blast radius of a second block of TNT, it will explode all of them relatively fast. So let's go see how this looks. That should be fun to watch. And there you have it. The new TNT code with all the visual and working changes. Alright, please remember to build stuff and not just blow stuff up, folks. Goodbye.